Hey guys, welcome. I just wanted to stop by to show you how I made this really cool key fob wristlet keychain. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. I am now going to show you what supplies I used um, to make this wristlet. The first thing you will need is um, a piece of fabric. You can use any type of fabric. This is just a piece of cotton fabric. I actually got it from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need to cut your fabric four inches wide by 12 inches long. This right here is some lightweight fusible interfacing. You're also going to need to cut that four inches wide by 12 inches long. You can either use a rotary cutter or some scissors. You're gonna need the hardware for the key fob itself. I will leave a link in the description of where I got mine. And then you will also need some pliers or you can also use the actual key fob pliers um, that you can find on Amazon. I'll leave a link to those as well and then you'll need a ruler. Also, you are going to need um, an iron, but I just use my little Cricut, uh, my mini Cricut uh, heat press to, instead of an iron, but you can definitely just use a regular old iron. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the lightweight fusible interfacing and I'm going to iron it to uh, the back side of my fabric. On the fusible interfacing, it's two sides. You'll feel like a raised bump side. That is the side that has the stickiness to it. So you wanna put that against the back side of your fabric so that when you iron it, it actually stays on. So I'm just using my mini press right now just to iron my fusible interfacing to the back side of my fabric. Again, both of those pieces are four inches wide by 12 inches long. And so once that is uh, fused together, I'm going to now uh, fold my piece of material in half. The long way, we call it the hot dog. It's either hot dog or hamburger. And so since it's long, this is the hot dog way. So fold the material directly in half and take your iron or your mini press and make a crease in the fabric so that way you um, can use it later as a guideline but just fold it in half the long way um, and then crease it down the middle. And so when I open it up, you can see the nice crease line that I have. And so now what I'm going to do is take each side and fold it into the middle. So now I'm taking uh, the first side, I'm gonna fold it into the middle to that crease line that I made and I'm gonna iron it so that it stays, uh, well not stay, but so that it makes a crease itself. So fold one side into the middle, use your iron to crease it. And so once that's done, I'm going to actually do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna fold, fold it into the middle so that it meets that middle line and I'm going to use my iron to crease that as well. So I'm taking both of my sides and I'm folding them to meet in the middle and then creasing it with my iron. So once that's done, I'm gonna fold the entire thing in half once more, and I'm just going to iron it so that it stays um, folded, so that when I go to sew it, it'll be easier to sew. But I'm, I'm going to fold, uh, first I folded the two sides into the middle, and then I'm gonna fold the entire thing in half, and I'm gonna iron it again just to make sure I have a really good crease on it. Now once that's done, you can see um, the key fob kind of taking its shape. 
eventually once we sew everything up it's going to look like a loop and so this would be the step where if I'm going to put a name or something on it uh, using like my Cricut with um, some heat transfer vinyl I would do that now or if you're going to embroider something on it I would do that part now before you start sewing so I'm going to now sew each side of this strip um, on my sewing machine. You can do this with needle and thread if you wanted to do it that way if you don't have a sewing machine. But what I'm gonna do basically is sew a straight stitch along the edge of both sides. It's going to be probably about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch from the actual edge. So I'm just gonna use my sewing machine right now to sew a straight stitch along the first side of the wristlet. So, as you can see, once I finish sewing it, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And as you can see, I just, it was a straight stitch um, very close to the edge of the material and I am going to do the same thing on the other side you can do this with a needle and thread again but I prefer to use my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew a straight stitch about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge of the wristlet band So right now I'm just cutting away any excess threads, but this is how it looks once you have sewn both sides. Um, again, it's just a straight stitch down each side of the band. And so when you have a fabric that has a pattern, you want to figure out what's going to be the inside or the outside of the wristlet. As you can see with this wristlet that I was starting to make, there is a different pattern on the inside. So I decided which is going to be the front, which is going to be the back, and which is gonna be like the inside. It all just depends on how you're gonna sew it. Cause right now we're going to sew a straight stitch along both of the ends of the wristlet to close it up. So I'm just gonna use my sewing machine to sew back and forth, back and forward, just to close the loop of the band. And so this is what it looks like once you have closed the loop. Again, you just sew a stitch, a straight stitch right across. Um, because I used my sewing machine, I went uh, back and forth a few times. But now you're starting to see how the band is taking shape. Everything has been sewed along the edges. And so now it's time to put on the hardware. So these are the key fob hardware uh, that I chose from Amazon. It is one inch. They have different sizes, but this is the one inch one. And I'm just showing you that they have like a, some little teeth that grabs the fabric. Um, and so I'm going to use my pliers to actually close or clamp this hardwood down onto the wristlet. Um, you can use a spare piece of material um, because the the type of pliers that I have has little rigets in it and so I don't want to uh, scratch my hardware so I'm just going to wrap it in a spare piece of fabric um, so that I can just close the hardware down just a little bit because the opening is so wide I just want to close it down a little bit so that I can slip my fabric in there and then once I decide to like close it and clamp it for sure it'll be a little bit easier to do but because my pliers had some ridges on it, I just used a spare piece of fabric. But I will show you what I typically use is some painter's tape. So um, I will show you how I wrap my pliers and some painter's tape so that when I decide to actually clamp down on that hardware, it won't scratch. So this is what I was talking about. Just wrap some painter's tape around the, I guess the, the the top of your pliers so that when you do 
um, clamp it down. It won't scratch your hardware. And you can just use a, a, pair, a spare piece of uh, fabric to cover the hardware while you squeeze it if you don't have any painter's tape. But I just position the hardware um, on the, the wristlet. Uh, make sure that the fabric is pushed all the way up to the top of the hardware um, so that it covers that, that seam that you put. And you're just gonna go and start to clamp it down. Uh, I do each side little by little um, until it's completely closed. But you'll see the teeth starts to grab onto the fabric. And so that's why I closed it a little bit in the beginning before I started putting it on the wristlet so that it's easier for the fabric to catch on those teeth and hold while I go and actually clamp the hardware closed. And so once you got everything positioned, give it one good uh, clamp and close the hardware and then you are going to be all done. See, it was very simple to make. Um, they're fun, they're easy to make, they make great gifts. Um, you can put little keychains on the end of them. They, uh, I made a lot of them in different materials and different uh, patterns that I'm going to use as just some birthday gifts. It's a quick birthday gift to always have sitting around. So consider that. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and come back.